whatever. Cause I gotta add annotations and shit whenever we're done. Yeah. Or whenever I decide to do it. And you just kill everything. Oh no, that's tomorrow. Especially since I gotta work on writing that thing. Mm -hmm. That big old thing I announced. Mm -hmm. God damn it. <laughs> Kinky. Damn it, Batman. Damn it. God damn it, Batman. <laughs> God damn it. Holy shit, I recorded for seven hours. Oh. I'm tired. Why, why would you... Because I wanted to finish the game so bad. I wanted to end that series so bad. You were just so done. You were like, nah. It wasn't that I was done. I just never... I usually never had the motivation to record that game. But I'm done with it now. It's officially over. I literally finished it. Like I took a break and then within an hour, I, hour and 45 minutes I finished it. Mm -hmm. The twist is very interesting. What the twist? The twist. Do the twist. And I can't. Twist, twist, twist. Can't right click stuff now, right at the moment. I mean, I can right click stuff outside of the normal folders. Fuck. This sucks. Thing. Gotta find the actual thing. Let me find the thing that uses for me to cheat. I gotta cheat. Mm -hmm. I don't remember where I put it though. I don't know why you found it. Yay, cheating. Cause, cause fuck not cheating. You're a terrible, terrible human being. Yes. Does that fix the resolution? I did it. Yeah, it does. Yay! Alright, get rid of that. Yeah, so they... Ew. Inferno, ew. Don't ever say foist. You will be disowned and shot in the head. Not really, I'm joking. I am so joking. Anyways, so let's, let's get started, you nerd. Oh, yeah, I still need to share the thingy. Yeah, share you stupid the, piece of shit. The, the, the. Actually, I had a day whenever I was trying to test it, and it wouldn't let me screen share because, like, something was going on. Can you see it? Let me see. Can you see yes, it? Yes, I can. You sure? Yeah. Let me check one thing. Can you hear me just fine? Can you hear me now, Mr. Krabs? Can you hear me now? Yes. Where's the thing? I gotta make sure that is off. Disable adult content. Damn it. Cause we, cause we can't show them fucking. Aw oh, man. That's I for the archives. Those are because gotta have the money shot though money mm -hmm. shot are we wait private put them lunch? in the thumbnail money shot oh it's this one yeah here we go the place i stopped and then i had an emotional breakdown break me up inside break he needs to pee not a poop face yeah he's always gonna be a poop face he's a poop face he's a big He's but he's our face. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm joking. He's like, yeah. But. Alright, let me find where we we at. Okay. So, we finished lunch theory. Um, We're digging around in hell. Not yet. Okay, so we passed that. She was cute, so we passed the lunch evolution theory. Um, talk to Hanako. We haven't re uh, reached a way late yet, so. Okay, we should be good. Good, 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 good. 
Oh, before that, let me advertise on my Twitter. Because I can't connect I, I can't connect to my Facebook because I don't remember the the thing. I don't remember my passwords for it. Uh wait, control C. Uh Facebook. Just had to tell. Okay. Had to tell Zip Zoop, Zippity Zoop, that I finished Deadly Premonition since he also finished the game. Kinky. Yeah. Uh. Gross. Oh, shut up! You know you do it too. Hey Justin, do you have a broken trampoline that I can use? <laughs> no, but we can get one. Fuck yeah. We can always get one. It's always possible yeah. with the power of belief. <laughs> what has the power of belief done for me? Well, a lot actually. <gasps> Justin! Why? I mean Shin! Why? I want a I want a hammock chair. I do too. Let's I make one. I would really want one. You know, like, no, the one that usually come with the metal bars one. Well, there's one, well, I've seen the ones that are sold at, like, flea markets. Those are pretty cool looking. Nah, I've never seen one because I never go to a flea market. Okay, so let's start the Kitewa Shishishishishishishu. Just telling you right now, you could find, like, um, a th um, monitor for pretty cheap over there. Really? Mm-hmm. They're gonna be used, but you know, you have well, all sorts of like options. Though. Yeah, that's you find you can find all sorts of options. Yeah. Okay. Got to bug people. Why is that blocking his this other place? Whatever. I'm not. I don't care. I'm gonna just start. Okay. Welcome back to Katawa Shishu. Katawa Shishu. Oh. Alright, in the last episode, which was a stream, we're continuing with a stream. Plot because twist. streams! Yeah, and there's no drops. Funny thing is, like, there was major drops on TBA, but now it's not dropping. Yay! 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 Hmm. Okay, and so, we continue. And so I want screaming burb head stickers. You always want screaming burb head stickers, though. Shut up. And you want them on your bumper. You want them on top of your roof. You want it on top of your cell phone. I want them all over this old shitty laptop. Yes, to cover up all the oldness. Jesus that's, Christ! That's if a, you that's could a word see now. this laptop right now, it's covered in nail polish from me painting my nails. Like, Why would you use that as a cover for a nail polish, though? No, like, I would put my hands and sometimes I would mess up, but it's like, okay, whoops. Wow. wow. But it looks pretty. Okay. Anyways, I'm going to start. So, <clears throat> It is a classroom, but it seems rather badly kept or not in use. Am I in the right place? Desk and chairs are all around in the room. A thin layer of dust... Setting on them, there's some easel. Is that easels? Yeah, easel in the corner. So at least this looks like the right place. This room is flushed in sunlight from the big windows, shadows creeping all over the desk. Specks of dust are dancing in the stagnant air, making the beams of light almost visible. Jokingly, I call into the empty room. Anybody ha Someone catches my eye and I stop mid-sentence. Hello. Oh, it's breaking. <laughs> He's breaking the habit. Dragon Dog! Oh no! Sitting on the desk, a short haired girl curiously wearing a boy's uniform with a fork between her toes, a morsel of food stuck firmly on the end. 
This odd way of dining seems to be caused by your appetite lack of hands. Wait, a, apparent lack of hands, correction. But her ap appearance here is what makes me back even more. How did I miss her before? She sit, uh, she's sitting in the corner very still, but I somehow took took her as part of the f flourishing you know, or statue at the first glance. Statue at the first glance. I'm not being too observant today as a whole. The girl seems to be rather frozen in place, staring at me with her huge eyes like a rabbit in he headlights. She's like, oh shit, now I'm gonna have to kill a hoe. She's staring at me with her mouth open wide, ready to accept the fork. And the dick. No, bad chin. <laughs> Come on. No. Come on. No. I'm staring at her mouth wide open, suddenly she remembering I didn't finish my sentence and trying to think of if I should. The weird statement kept uh, the statement keeps us both stunned into silence, punctuated by the wall clock I mean the wall clock ticking rhythmically. Cock jokes the best. Hello. The girl stuffs the fork in her mouth and now uh, and uh, and is now staring at me expectingly while chewing this is a bit awkward um hello i was told to pick up some supplies from here or some festival stalls i think i didn't think there would be someone here there is him god damn that's why i came here too she picks up another fork i mean a forkful does that mean? Doesn't that mean you're here then? She raises her eyebrows as if she uh, she was suspecting my observation was false. You're pretty observant. I guess it does, but who are you? Stop it! God damn it! This girl is pretty straightforward, isn't she? Uh, I'm Nakai. Hazal Nakai. I just transferred in on Monday. I'm Rin. Tezuka Rin. Rin Tezuka. Why, why do you have to do that? Why, why was the thing to go back forth? Wait, why not? <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> I won't shake hands with you, but at least we know who we are now. <laughs> wow. wow. <laughs> I like this little shit. Wow. What a scumbag. I love her. <sighs> Anyways. You, you, you still got a line. I, I finished. I've already, I've already read it. That's right very in. nice. What a, her deadpan manner of taking, uh, of talking makes it hard to determine whether she's joking about shaking hands or not. It kind of bothers me. Joking about these matters doesn't feel appropriate at all. While I'm trying to figure out what's appropriate and whether the this girl is, she seems to have lost interest in me and now gazing yearningly back at her food. <laughs> Can I continue my lunch if you don't mind me? I won't mind you. If you need to get your stuff, the supplies are at, are at the back. Go right ahead, but lunch? School's already over for the day. What word would you use then? There's no word for a meal after a meal for you. A meal you eat after lunch, but before dinner, right? It bothers me very much too. But I don't really know what I should say. Luncher. Luncher, yeah, luncher. That, That's I'm horrible. Going. Yes, it's lunch and dinner. Luncher. <laughs> I don't think you're supposed to eat eat a meal between lunch and dinner to begin with. Listen, he's out. He's out. He's out. He's Shut out. the fuck up. He's out. <laughs> what if we're like touching and like rubbing all over him, just saying his name, or like, shut up. No, we're just rubbing our faces against his face as like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> we just go deep tone voice and just give him that wicked evil glare. And he's like, oh shit. Okay, I'm gonna shut up now. But I'm hungry now. My delicious box lunch would go to waste otherwise. I have curry. It's very delicious. Oh man, I love curry! 
As much as I love chicken teriyaki. I'm gonna bump up your audio a little. There we go. That should be fine. Thank you. You're welcome. So, Nakai, what brings you to this place? Like I said, I, w I was told to look for these things. No, the school. From outside, you look fine. Is your problem inside? Oh. I come to a full stop opening my mouth, but not getting a word out. I... I can guess. I'm good at guessing. Better than most people. Can, can you guess what I'm thinking right now? <laughs> Uh, no, bet shit. <laughs> Rin cuts me off before I can answer a question. Or skirt around it somehow. I don't know which I would I would have done. I froze in front of this issue again. I haven't told anyone here about my condition, or maybe it's only because I it hasn't really come up. I don't get the feeling that not making issues of this is part of the social code here as a, as a, as the teacher said. Eh. I wonder if the people here could relate. Probably not any. I mean, probably not any better than any normal person could. I can't relate to Shizune-ish circumstances or Lily's either. Naturally, while I go through this in my head, I mean, in my head, Rin keeps considering what my condition could be, with overly, uh, com, compilated. I I need my glasses. I can't see that word. Come. Contemplative. Oh, contemplative. Uh, I need my glasses. I had them and this is where Shin goes off to find his glasses. Yep. Will he ever find them? I did. Oh, shit. I just couldn't see because... Oh, like, my God. I actually do have to wear glasses. Yeah, contemplative. God, look on her face. Sir. She puts her fork between her lips and leans back, looking at the ceiling as if the answer was written up in there. And then it's just fucking dreamy, just up there playing with some markers, just like making doodles. <laughs> hey, stop that, dreamy! Stop it. And then the art, and then the art teacher comes in and is just like, "When the fuck did all this shit get up here?" But it's a, it's a it's an abandoned room, you goon. <laughs> Whatever. Anyways, a beam of light illuminates Damn. her face from the window side, creating a mask of dark shadow on the other side. How anime. 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 anime Don't anime. think it's anything in your head. And something in your gut will be boringly ordinary. Like this lunch of mine. And less delicious. Wow. He has the shits. I don't think you would the go to this. The problem would be in your pants. <laughs> he has the shits. Oh, this messed up Sherlock Holmes kind of <laughs> kind of statement and the sheer lack of tack. It was delivered with, like with, uh, eh, delivered with catch. I mean, catches me completely off guard. I think I might have re uh, reeled back even physically as Rin's eyes widen in re revelation and astonishment. So I was right. There's something wrong with your tackle. Is not there? I, yeah, she's talking about his dong. Mm -hmm. She's calling it weak. I don't think you would go to a school if you have erectile dysfunction, though. Or I would so, you? Too. I don't think so, because erectile dysfunction, can't that be fixed? I don't fucking know. I'm not. A, I'm not a doctor. I didn't get a PhD in that kind of crap. You don't even have a PhD in anything. Shh. No one needs to know that part. No one needs to know that detail. Still, particularly in shock, but recognizing the need to reply something, I spit out the first thing that I can think of. No, no, that is no, nothing like that. I have a heart problem. Arthuremia. Ar arrhythmia. Arrhythmia. Oh uh, my god, he said it! Yes, I said it. More like blurted it out, but I said it. The girl in front of me pr uh, presses her lips together and, glover and glowers at me. Glowers? Hmm, never heard of that one. Blech. 
and glowers at me, looking very disappointed. How boring. Trouble in the pants would have been much more scandalous. Okay, first off, you're just trying to see what's in my pants. What's with this reaction? <laughs> I'm sorry to let you down. You sow, baby, no. Listen, she's the one that's wanting to you. see her pants. Just, oh my god. Yeah. I forgive you. Just, I collect people and a person with, you know, that kind of problem would have been really great. Hey, you ain't got no strings There's on me. People that trapped in a dungeon? I, you ain't got no strings on me, damn it. And then she just starts dragging you down into a dungeon. Let's go. <laughs> collect people. People with different problems. Like your face! Oh! Yeah, I'm sticking with that. Dude, she can like red house kick you out the window. I mean, she's able to physically eat with her feet. I'm not gonna complain. Huh. So you just like go around asking people what's wrong with them? Pretty much. Damn. I see. At least she's straightforward with it, you know. Gotta give her a trophy for that one. <laughs> Woo, here we go. Drop city. The dots, I see. With, with little left to say, Wynn resumes her lunch and the conversation dies away, but I keep thinking about what she like what was said. It's the first time I told anyone else about my condition. All the other people have either known about it already or heard it like heard about it from someone else. Probably. Probably. Or did it need to know about it like everyone else? I mean, like every other student here so far. You saw you gossipy bitch. Should I have told it? Told it as natural part of introductions. Is it expected of me? Mm -hmm. Hi, I'm Hisao. I have a very serious heart condition. Is that how I'm supposed to go around introducing myself from now on? As if our disabilities would Hello, define I'm us. Hello, I'm and I'm a dangerous entity from another world. Hi, I'm Shen. I murder people. Ew! Oh, that's not, that's no, that's nothing new. Oh, what? I was gonna say something else, Aww. but never mind. Anyways, or maybe the Tatsuka girl is just. I mean, just has a natural interest in such things. Natural things are my dick. As I walk to the back of the room to pick up the items on Misha's list, a chance opens to study uh, to study Rin from the corner of my eye. This is creepy. Her hair is burnt yeah. amber, almost orange, and cropped short. Long hair would probably be impossible with no arms. The boy's uniform and lack of arms make her look very thin, so almost scrawny. She is not particularly pretty, except for her murky green eyes, which flicker restlessly from below her short bangs, even when she eats. Wow, the he's out so rude. He's out is so rude. This the distance and shadows make it seem like they don't reflect sunlight at all. But instead, absorb all of what, like all of it within them, like deep wells. Her moves, her I mean, she moves her feet almost as definite as normal person would use their arms. However, I can see how this sight could discomfort people, especially while eating. It makes me feel a bit uncomfortable, at least. I hesitate to think about the word unnatural, but it's too late now, isn't it? I keep searching the cabins and shelves for Misha's things, but after enough time passes, the silence grows too uncomfortable. So I try to force some conversation out of this strange girl. So, do you always eat alone and this late? Or do you get this occasional visitor? Or do you, yeah, whatever. Visitors? Maybe you are my first occasional visitor, but I don't always eat alone either. Oh. Oh. Sometimes I eat with 
with a student person on the roof. If she's not horsing around. She probably has a horse mask. That would be awesome. And she like literally like whenever she walks into a room, opens the door, she's actually doing a little jig whenever she's walking in the room, even <laughs> in the classroom, like dun, 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 dun. <laughs> I can imagine. God. <laughs> Some she likes to do sports. I think I know who this is. Yep. I do too. I just imagined her with a horse head though. Like a, <laughs> those masks that you can wear. Oh God. yes. And that's all I can think of to say. Both of us fall silent again as Rin forks the last bit of her meal to her mouth. I look down at my hall and yeah. double check uh, check it with Misha's list. It seems like I have everything except for plywood. Um, so I think I have all the things now. That's very nice for you. Don't feel obliged to stay. I was about to take a nap anyway. Okay, later, bitch. You need bitch. to do whatever you're going to do with that stuff anyway, right? Okay, later, bitch. Oh my god. Or perhaps you like to watch girls sleeping. <laughs> well then. Well then. We know you do, Shin, you pervert. What? No. No. I do not do such things. Eh. I'm not sure like what to make of this, but Rin looks serious. Even if I did, I think I have to be going. I I'll catch you around, Tetsuka. I feel that our relationship is at this point good enough to warrant this much. So she makes a witty comment about his dick, and then now they're like, buddy, buddy. Mm hmm. Okay, I, I, I'll, I'll roll with that. I was already turning to make my exit, but she draws me back in. Fine then, I'm his owl. Then you are. That's. Rin looks at me hard and in, in the eyes, but that intimidating feeling you get when someone stares at you isn't there. It's like she's actually not looking at me at all. She blinks a couple of times, and I can't figure out why why a pause like this just popped between us and out of nowhere. <laughs> See you later, Hisao. There's something like a tiny smile there in her face, maybe. Later, nerd. She reminds me of Lapis. What? She reminds me of Lapis. Yeah. But still, later, bitch. <laughs> Looks like we don't have to give her a hand, huh? 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 Good day. Good day. Uh, I quietly back out of the, like of the rooms. As I shut the door in front of my face, I whisper to myself, "What an intriguing person." From inside, I hear the muffled sing uh, sing song voice. Sing song, sing song, sing song. Yes. I heard that. Shit. Creepy. And then came the wild Misha Misha. What did she hear? I jump at the sudden... <laughs> God damn it. I Run. jump at the sudden appearance of Misha, who had not heard like who had not heard approaching despite the complete empty hallway. Somehow she had gotten to jump I mean, to a jumping distance of me without making a sound. Creepy. A brief, uh, it briefly reminds me of Kenji's nutty theory about global fem feminist conspiracy, but I push that thought aside. She's in a nice standing slightly uh, behind Misha, looks aloof, as if she couldn't have heard the remark that drew Misha's attention, but Misha is visibly excited. Oh my god. No way. More importantly, who's in there? There's no club meetings today. Not your business. <laughs> she tries to curiously peek past me, even though the door prevents her from seeing anyway. 
What are you doing here? You took so long that we had to come and check check what's wrong. That's no good, he can. That's just no good. She wags no, her finger not. at me, scoldingly. I found plywood, but everything else is still missing. Because you are tardy. Listen, he trying to just find his bay of his laugh. <laughs> oh my god. It's worth it. Anyways, oh, er... I mean, oh, sorry, er... I got the things here. It was just going to be... A, I was just going to bring them. You think you're up to some mischief, Hik-chan? Who was in there with you? I wonder. None your business, woman. I only wanted my mashed potatoes and gravy. I don't even know what I'm talking about. Arms are sweaty. Something about spaghetti. I don't know what else. Anyways. Oh my god. Anyways, Misha signed something quickly to Shizune, pointing at her own uh, own ear a couple of times. Shizune immediately pushes her way past me and opens the door into the car and I just left. I can only imagine the shock she is expressing. With Shizune's uh, indigilent, uh, indigilence and attitude, the solace of daring to deface school property by sleeping on top of it must be too much to bear. And indeed, she stares at Rin, frozen in place apart from the slight but noticeable trembling in her shadows. I mean, our shoulders from the suppressed rage, I'm sure. Instead of blowing up, Shizune just takes a few deep breaths, adjusts her glasses, and slams the door shut, turning a sign fiercely at Misha. Maybe she did blow up, but I can't understand it. Wow, Shizune needs to get laid. Oh my god. Shizune needs the D. She's giving you an angry pout. Run! Run! Dreamy has escaped. Fuck y'all bitches. Fuck this shit, I'm out. Anyways. Fuck this shit, I'm out. Just backflip. Ah, she shoots a very, like, very loaded stare at me, too. As if it was somehow my fault that Rin is sleeping on one of the tables. I hope she's not getting any funny ideas about the reason I won't like of my tardius. They fucked. <laughs> oh, no. I mean, it's not impossible, it's, you know. She kept talking about his dick. True. Hello. Rin's voice comes from the other side of the door. It takes a few eye blinks to realize that she might have trouble, like, troubled opening it. I open the door to find Rin directly behind it, looking at us with a half-interested, half-sleepy face. <laughs> She's so uninterested Hello. in her shit. Dots. Angry dots. Angry dots. Cute. Angry dots. Give a shit. Give a shit. Mr. Suga, what do you think you were doing? You are for such disgraceful activity. Listen, back your shit up before you gonna get wrecked. You hear what I mean, bruh? I don't even know what I'm saying right now. I'm, yeah. I, I back, I back hooked out a window. I'm not in this conversation right now. <laughs> wow, fuck this shit, I'm out. Yeah, I fuck this shit, I'm out. Whatever. Anyways, back to it. <sighs> Okay. What? It sure is suddenly very crowded in here. I didn't know I was this popular. Wow, can I get an autograph? I heard your phone. Yeah, that was that was Siri popping up after I said something. Like, yo, what's up, homie? You want to hear something about what's... Google Prime? I don't know. Oh my gosh, shut up. <laughs> it's hard to say whether she's happy or unhappy about this turn of events. At any rate, she ignores she's in a slash Misha's scolding, so they have no choice but to drop the issue. 
Shizune taps Misha's shoulder and points uh, at Ren and makes some quick signs. Dad, pouty. Popularity aside, please don't do that anymore. She's just gonna be like, later, bitch. I'm not gonna listen to you. She's gonna turn around and open the door and be like, bye bye. Bye, bitch. Nap time. <laughs> Yo, time. Anyway, how is your project going? Will it be done for the festival? None of your business. Rin looks at them blankly, Go apparently at, at ease under the pressure of Shizune's cold stare, is putting on her. It's like that. And it's like cut. You're like, fuck away. You're dying. No. You're like, no. You're like, dying. No. I don't understand. Why do you keep dying? It's so bad. No. Oh, yeah, that's a little better. Yay. There you go. We can work with this. I keep wondering about... Oh, wait. That... Wait, can you say that one more time? You kind of pooped. Kind of went poop. I keep... Okay, I keep wondering about that myself, too. <laughs> You're so robot right now. It's weird. And dot... Shit, I'm out. And? Oh. Uh. We'll think about it harder. <laughs> As Misha signs her reply to Shizune, her face turns into an unsatisfied frown. And you turned into a cyborg dreamy. I hate this internet to, like, it's probably because of the weather. Pouty dot. Probably. Yeah, we'll probably have to cut it off a little bit early. But I wanted to. Poop. Mm, okay, Miss Tezuka, please try to take this seriously. It'll be a disaster if the wall looks like someone threw up their lunch onto it. Bet you, it'll look better than what the fuck you make. Nin, ro like, nin, nin, Rin nods assertively. We'll think more seriously. No, you won't. I won't. Misha actually giggles at that, but Shizune does not even, like, does not even after a translation. <laughs> she just shakes her head, takes the materials from me, and takes off with Misha in tow. Rin frow uh, frowns thoughtfully. As she looks after the retreat, uh, retreating student council duo. How rude. They're rude. You're rude. Everyone's rude. It's Judo. I must finish my project before the weekend. There will be dire consequences if I don't. Brum, brum, brum. The world will end as we know it. Like, weekends are usually our. our, our but more dire. Much more dire. Bum, bum, bum. Maybe I'll postpone my nap to unforeseen future. Bum, bum, bum. I'm about to ask uh, what project she has and what are these uh, apocalyptic consequences. Apo Apocalyptic. 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 There you go. You can English now. I, I can never English. Trust me. Trust me. I can never. Apocaly apocalyptic consequences. Donut. But she walks back into the art classroom. It's your time. It's Since your you have move. nothing to do, would you give me a hand? 
Hey, is Misha uh, shooting a gun? Yeah, they gone. Okay, back in they come. Help me uh, help me through the window, come on. <laughs> you can climb it. Quick, use the grappling hook I gave you. Grappling hook! Oh, shit! Whoa! That's a thing. You're supposed to be ready for that. And I just kind of phase through the wall and just keep going. Perpetual motion, just new. Just, it just never stops. <laughs> Whatever. Anyways. This paint can fit in my bag, but I need it. She kicks lightly at this the paint huge... This paint can doesn't fit into my bag. Not at all. Paint can. Oh my god. No, it's huge as shit. Anyways. She kicks lightly at a, at a huge can of paint that's lying on the floor next to the table she was sitting on and sleeping on. It lets out a dull clang. But the the gentleman I am, I naturally pick it up. No, I just pretend I'm like lifting it like I'm a weightlifter, like my lady. No, it's like you're trying to lift it up and they're like, you, you can't. Like you just physically can't. No, you just fall over <laughs> eating shit and you're just bashing your face on the can itself like hurt. <laughs> Heavy. And I'm just like watching y'all and I just kind of pick it up like it's nothing and then walk away. Like, bye. <laughs> you can do defy physics. This is bullshit. I win. I win everything. <sighs> Whatever. Anyways. Yeah, sure. Where do you need to take it? I hate away. her sarcasm. I love it. <laughs> I and love it. And that she takes off to the hallway. Me and the pain can following since there is little of choice for either of us don't forget about us the narrators following behind and reading out loud and awkwardly the hallway is quiet and empty now with shizune and misha gone so we two i mean we two leave towards the stairwell at the other end of the end every 10 or 5 or uh, 10 or 15 or 20 steps i have to change the can from one hand to another because the thin can like the th the thin handle cuts into my palm at least it keeps my arm from tiring too fast Vince strolls like strolls on beside me with an uneven pace that i have trouble matching or maybe i am walking weird because of the extra weight it seems one of us constantly walking too slow or too fast, and I can't even figure out which. Two flights of stairs below trouble appear in front like in the form of a head nurse and his fox-like grin. Ah, Mr. Nakai, what a happy coincidence like coincidence. Tezuka too, of course. He nods uh curiously towards Rin, who does not acknowledge him back, then turns to me because obviously it's me who had some business with him. There is something I forgot to mention on Monday. I nod and wait imp uh, imp uh, impassively because I can't even begin to guess what he forgot. The, f the feeling of the handle Devling deeper into my skin doesn't make me even feel ecstatic about the inter interruption either. It's about your medical condition. I mean, it's about your medication. Your medication. Hey, I corrected myself before you did. It's a boop. It's a boop. Anyways, it's about your medication. Since it hasn't been that long on your current medication, there might be some unexpe uh, unexpected side effects, which might require adjusting dosage or even changing to another kind of medication. So we'll do a few tests regularly. But what I'd want you to do, uh, but what I like, eh, but what I'd want is for you to keep an eye on on everything in your condition that feels off. If you get what I mean. Nausea, headache, anything that comes is anything, uh, anything. And come see me if something happens. Alright. So, how are you? Everything fine? I give up and drop the can to the floor before answering him. Apparently, it takes longer than my biceps, I mean, longer than my biceps can handle. I'm about to say something gen like generic as an answer, but then I realize how often I've done that lately. Other people have asked me that too. Teachers and students here, my parents, visitors, nurses, doctors, doctors at the hospital. 
Everyone seems to be concerned about about that. It's natural for a hospital, not so much for a school. Everyone seems to be wait. Except this school. This is a small school, and both the student base and the faculty seem to be very tightly knit. At least, that's the feeling I'm getting. This is not the kind of school that gets transfer students too often. And the thought sends shivers up my spine, but I, I give a generic answer anyway. Yeah, it's... That's great! Also, one other thing. My, res uh, my sources tell me that you've been at neither the school track nor even the pool. So I'd like, to, so I'd like to know if you have, uh, if you have taken up exercising as I asked. Of course I haven't, but his way of inquiring gives me the feeling that I should have been running my ass off on the track since the very first day. You have, uh, you have people spying on me? Not at all. I, I just happen to know a few people. But that's not the issue here, so don't try to slip out of it. Well, I was actually doing some improvised weightlifting as an exercise. I pick up and lift the can up and down a few times like some sad imitation of a bodybuilder, even though it's weighing down on my arm painfully. The stupid grin disappears from his face for a second, then comes back like it was never gone. Titska, would you give us a second? The nurse grabs me by the shoulder without waiting for Rin's permission, which he didn't—he didn't need in the first place—and drags me aside. When I told you to exercise, I wasn't joking. I understand that you're still on your first week and all, but please don't ignore the importance of this. The reason I'm coming down this hard on you is that, like, is that habits are not easy to form. The more you slip on and postpone, the harder it'll be. It's the same as every like uh, with everything like dieting. Can you promise me to be more serious from now on? Uh... Yes. Ah, but I, I'm not sure because I gotta be careful because the route could actually like lead me to a different route. Okay, so if we do pick yes, mm -hmm. there is two situations that could easily lead me away from the current steps on trying to get uh, Hizako waifu. And that is if we do click yes, it'll go to the normal routes of the two to for one for Hanako and Lily, another for Suzune, but then they will both correlate to things you can do or if we end up having enough uh, not acknowledgement from Lily or like Hanako or Lily, uh, it will change either to paint by numbers. But no matter what, if we do press yes. Um, oh, wait. Never mind. If we just say yes, no matter what, it will it'll lead to the situation anyways. Actually, wait. Let's see. If it's equal to one for if the training flag equal to one. If, it, if the training is greater than one. Eh, actually, less than. I mean, we could do whatever, honestly. So, yeah. Because it sounds like we can, like, slightly be turned off course, but we could still make it to the same route. Hello? Hmm? What now? You didn't listen to me, Al. No, I just kind of stopped. You pick which one ever attributes the route. Sure, whatever. Yeah, I promise, definitely. He study. Uh, he studies me for a moment and then shrugs. Uh, sh then shrugs, smiling again. Okay, that's more like it. If you do, if you go to the school track tomorrow morning, I'll uh, you'll meet my spy, who'll probably have has no qualms offering uh, consolation to you if you want to want to go a jog a bit. Consolation. See you around. He leaves with a wave of his hand and no answer, and I walk to Rin, who has been like waiting idly, leaning against the wall, and staring at a pile of lighting fixtures in the ceiling. Even when I approach, she doesn't move her eyes off them. Are you getting medications for your heart thingy? Why, yes. Thank you for stating. Yeah, yes. Were you listening? It comes out more, uh, yeah, a custodory. 
accusatory, then intended accusatory. Uh, accusatory than I intended, accidentally lashing out on her. Whoops, I'm a dick. But even so, I don't really want to start talking about it. I just met her. I don't know her. It's not her business. Wow, he is such a cunt right now. <laughs> the nurse seems to be happily ignorant about the confidentiality, too. Talking about that kind of thing is in public. But it's not Rin's fault, is it? I look up at her, suddenly feeling a bit guilty, but Rin is staring past my shoulder quiz quizzically, her head tilted like a bird's. Sigh. Beep. Beep. I don't know why uh, this is so hard for me. It feels like there's some inexplicable uh, lock that prevents me from being more upfront about this. Yeah. They're from my heart. Will they make you better? No, not really. They're just to make me, le I mean, make me a little more, uh, less worse. A little less worse. Rin keeps looking at me for a while longer, and she neither says anything further nor displays any kind of emotion I could con discern. <laughs> I'm thankful that she does, like, she doesn't. I think I'm still not quite used to all of this. At the hospital, it was easy, but I still haven't sorted my feelings about having to live a normal life with this disability. We leave the mean building and Rin leads us towards the dorm. And we stop at a small patch of greening, green, uh, greenery in front of the dorm building. Alright. This is a good place to stop Shepard for now. Cranium. Yes. But this is yeah, a good place. Yeah, because everything's getting weird. Everything. Even the internet. I'll have to probably use the recorded uh, film I have saved on the external hard drive and use that. I'll end up deleting this one and then uploading the the recorded version so we'll at least have something uh, cleaner. So, yeah. yeah. So, this ought to do Alrighty. for this stream session of Katawa Shoujo. In the next episode, we will continue on and hopefully I didn't screw the waifu route. Which is very unlikely in this situation because no matter what, it still leads to a possibility. Uh, I'm, I'm double checking because I know I might accidentally did something stupid. No, don't do anything stupid. Eh. Long as we like, long as we can at least keep at it. But for now. Thank you guys very much for at least watching. If you like these other videos, consider liking, commenting, and even better, consider subscribing. If not, thank you in advance for at least watching. So for now, we'll see you guys next time. Till then, take care. Bye. Bye-bye, guys.